I have selected five of the most creepy scary books I know for you guys to read now in the spooky season. <laughs> so the oldest one that I would highly, highly recommend, it's one of my favorite books of all times, uh, was published in 1985. I was born already then. Were you? It's a German book, originally. Das Parfum, die Geschichte eines Mörders. <laughs> that doesn't really sound German, I think, but... Also known as Perfume, the story of a murderer. <laughs> Perfume is a classic. It's a famous novel, but still there are people who haven't read it yet. And if you haven't, then I suggest this is the perfect time to do it. It's a very creepy story about this boy, Jean-Baptiste Grenouille, uh, who's born in France and, um, as his name suggests, and we are in the 18th century and he's born on this gloomy day on a fish market between like the, 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 the fisherwomen are, you know, scrubbing, cleaning the fish, all the intestines are all over the place and and this little baby is born there and abandoned and then um, he's brought up in uh, i think he's brought up by nuns in, in a monastery or something i don't exactly remember it's been a long time since i read the book and i definitely i'm going to reread it and everybody hates him uh, all the the women who feed him they, they, they really don't like him and the reason why they don't like him is because he doesn't smell. He doesn't smell. Babies smell. Some people like it, some people don't, but babies have a smell. And Jean-Baptiste Grenouille, he didn't have a smell at all. So they were freaked out by him. And uh, this little boy, he grows up and, and he's very different. He's very different from other people and he discovers that he Although he himself doesn't, doesn't have a smell, he ha has an extraordinary ability to smell. So, uh, long story short, he finds his way in, into the apprenticeship of a perfume master and he experiments with all kinds of ways of extracting scent from things like um, John Baptiste, he can smell a stone, he can smell like a spider, he can smell everything and he wants to extract, he finds a way how to extract the smell. He applies the same process to everything that he encounters until one day, and this is why this book is so creepy, he smells the most gorgeous, beautiful smell he has ever smelled in his entire short life and this is the smell of a beautiful young woman dot 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 it's called the story of a murderer so hmm, i guess you think where it's going this book is so creepy it's written so unbelievably eerie by the way this is my dutch edition of het parfum the Geschiedenis van een Moordenaar. I don't know how long I've had this book. Um, I don't know. But it's... It's from a time when I couldn't even speak English. So, a long time. A very long time. Really, highly recommend this one. The second oldest book on my little list here was published in 1996. And this is a book that I recently um, discussed in uh, my previous video. I will link it here. This is a Portuguese book uh, from a Portuguese author called José Saramago. The book is called Blindness and it's about a pandemic of blindness. And uh, especially now for us all, now that we know what it's like to be in a pandemic, uh, this is a really creepy book. And by the way, if you think it's too soon, if you are afraid that we're all gonna be in lockdown again soon, then maybe you shouldn't read that one. Go with perfume or one of the others. Okay, the book that was published next was published in 2013 
It's written by a Dutch author, Thomas Oldeheuveld. People call him the new Stephen King. That should maybe tell you something. The book is called Hex. And in Dutch, Hex means witch. The book has been translated into English, so you can go ahead and read it. It has the same title, but the location of where the book is set has been altered. So originally I read the book in Dutch and originally, originally it's set in the Netherlands in a little village and in the English translation uh, the setting is moved to a location in the Hudson Valley in the United States. So just so you know that's not the original uh, location but it absolutely doesn't matter because it's a universal story. So what's it about? There is this little village that is quite isolated and this little village has a witch and this witch is a, is a little woman. Her eyes and her mouth have been stitched tight so she looks horrible. She looks like a creature from a horror movie and she just appears anywhere everywhere when when your little family is having dinner she will be there when you put your kids to bed she's standing in the corner i mean she's really really creepy and everybody knows in the village they cannot address her they cannot talk to her they have to just ignore her pretend that she's not there especially they can never ever leave the village and tell anyone outside of the village about her. And this has been going on for, I don't know, hundreds of years. And now there is this little group of teens that are on social media, which is not allowed, and they decide to go viral with images of the witch. And then, you know, there's a fan and shit hitting it and stuff like that. Why is this book on my list? Because it is creepy as hell. I'm not, I'm not really a horror fan. I love my Stephen King once in a while, but I don't go to it, especially. This one really got me. This one really got me, so I highly recommend it. Don't read it <laughs> when you're alone at home. Um, no, don't do that. Otherwise, highly recommend. Let's move on to 2019, when Alex North published The Whisper Man. Oh my god. If a thriller really, you know, walks on this line between thriller and horror, I especially love it because I love it when a thriller really spooks me. I, you know, there's a lot of um, mystery thrillers or um, you know, police thrillers, uh, detectives, stuff like that. You're never really scared when you read those books, right? You're just trying to solve the puzzle, yeah? And in Whisper Man, you try to solve the puzzle, you know what's happening is not possible, and still you're freaked out, like, you know, you see creeps everywhere. And oh, this one also, don't read it when you're alone. It's about I, a father and his little son who moved to, uh, who moved to a small village uh, where there have been some murders in the past. And when they arrive in the village, a little boy disappears. And around the same time, the, the little boy, the son, uh, starts to behave strangely. He starts talking to the boy in the floor. Yeah, <laughs> don't you love it when that happens? When kids start talking to the boy in the floor or the people, the people that live under the stairs. And some scenes really, I read them in my bed and I was so <laughs> scared when I read them. I love it. I love it when the adrenaline, you know, gives you this rush and then you cannot sleep. Well, that's not. No, no, that's not so good when you cannot sleep. I will read to you the, the little song that the children of the village sing about the Whisper Man. If you leave a door half open, soon you'll hear the whisper spoken. If you play outside alone, soon you won't be going home. If your window's left untouched, unlatched, sorry, you'll hear him tapping at the glass. If you're lonely, sad and blue, the Whisper Man will come for you! Yeah, 
and it's really like that. It's um, very creepy, but also, um, also beautifully written. A plot can be so amazing, but if the writing is horrible, I cannot be bothered. Alex North really knows how to write. There are some beautiful sentences, some beautiful thoughts in The Whisperman too, so really light a fire, close all the doors, you know, crawl on, on the sofa, under a blanket and start reading The Whisperman. You will not regret it. I promise. Okay. Let's move on to the very last book on my list. This one was published in 2020 and was written by me. Yay. Alone. I'm, I'm saying alone, but alone doesn't exist yet because the translation hasn't been published yet. So this is a recommendation. Um, you can only follow if you can read Dutch. Uh, or you have to wait maybe till next Halloween. Alone, or Alleen, which is the original title, is about uh, Julie. Uh, Julie is a young woman in university. She wants to become a vet. She gets pregnant, she reunites with the father of her baby, Tom, and everything goes fine, and she graduates, she's a vet now, and then she disappears. At that moment, she's seven months pregnant with a big belly. No one knows where she's gone. The book is written from the victim's point of view, Julie, and the antagonist's point of view, Oscar. So I'm not spoiling anything because this book is not about figuring out who took Julie. No, it's not about that. It's about what happens. It's about why it happens. And especially, it's about how it ends uh, because Julie knows that the moment her baby will be born it's game over for her so time is very much of the essence so highly recommend Aline or Alone uh, please let me know if you read or have read one of my suggestions I hope you have a lovely Halloween I will be spending mine in Belgium because I'll be going there to do some book signings and other fun stuff. I'll try to bring you along with me, maybe uh, shoot some footage. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, um, give it a thumbs up. Highly appreciate it. And I will. See you in the next one. Ciao. Obrigada.